Ray, this is going to be huge for round two. The contract is final and he's in. He's done negotiating with the other organizations and he's landed with PFL. Jason and I putting together this roster this year. I mean, we have people constantly sending us tweets. This guy's available, that guy's available, sign this guy and whatnot. I mean, we look at it and then if, uh, if it's a good fit, we'll make it happen. If it isn't, um, uh, you know, he's got to go and get some more wins and, and uh, try again next year. I think the most difficult division to find was actually the heavyweights. Because that, I mean, that was the most difficult last year. Ooh, big slurry of punches, Felipe Lins. That is it, it is all over! Yeah. But this year, we ended up getting some, the add-ons this year, the new fighters that are coming this year, uh, you know, a force to be reckoned with. The guys that are going to present probably the biggest challenge for the champion would be Dennis Kostov out of uh, Russia, Ben Edwards out of Australia. Dennis Gulstoff, he's got 22 wins. Of that, 18 are finishes, and it's evenly distributed. Nine submissions, nine KOs. He's got a who's who's list of guys he's beaten. That's and he's, he's got to be the, the top heavyweight Russian right. uh, available. So I love that pickup. We know what Dennis Gulstoff can do. But I think the dark horse here could be Ben Edwards. Yep. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because nobody really knows him that much. He's had over 60, 70 kickboxing fights. He's been a world champion at kickboxing. And I've seen him, you know, fight live um, in K1. And that guy can, comes to fight. I mean, his MMA record proves it. Hey everybody, Ben Edwards from Australia here. I am super excited to be a part of the 2019 PFL season. And you can get the check ready and make it out to T-H-E-G-U-V because I am the Gov and I'm going to win the whole damn thing. Ante, he's, he, he's brought to us by Mirko Krokop. Right. He's also 15-3, and three, so he's proven it, but Mirko bringing him in definitely didn't hurt if he's training with Mirko. Mirko uh, also said he's cornering him as well. Beautiful. He actually defeated one of the other heavyweights we were looking at for the season two, which helped him get in. Kuhn is getting the clearer shots. Oh! oh! Holy cow! Alex Nicholson with the flying knee Holy catches Hugh flush. Superman Whoa. is alive and well in New York City. What I love about Alex Nicholson is that he comes to fight. He's, he's one of these guys that uh, put it all on the line. Either he'll win by knockout or he'll get knocked out himself. PFL heavyweight Alex the Spartan Nicholson out here training in the beautiful Costa Rican jungle with the animals. You guys already know I'm going to show up and put on an amazing performance. PFL Million Dollar 2019 Heavyweight Champion, Alex the Spartan. Oh! He's shown that he's got heart. He's shown that he can fight. He's shown that he's aggressive. And he's shown that he's going to lay it on the line. So now he's got to show his, his uh, intelligence in the ring, in the cage. Tiller was doing a nice job of using that. Oh! Big over. Oh! Right. Oh! Goodness. Look wow. at that! All the heavyweights that we got are all bangers. I mean, they come to fight. It is for the fight game. And anything can happen. So, I mean, for all we know, Felipe can go out there, and finish everybody, and win that million dollars again. Now we're on to the lightweight. Oh, oh, that's, that's, that's what that's I that's said. That's New lightweight champion of the world, Natan Shaw! Uh, lightweights, wow. Uh, we have five returning from there. The champion is back, Nathan Schulte, Rashid Magomedov, who was a runner-up, Chris Wade. I, I, you know what? That's the guy that I'm actually excited to watch this year. Chris Wade thought he was hard done by the judges uh, when he fought Nathan in the semifinals, I think it was. Your winner by split decision, moving on to the Million Dollar Showdown. From Brazil, Natan Russo Show! I go to sleep every night and I think about those fights during the playoffs and I think about who won the money and I, I'm almost obsessed with, with coming back. And It's not just about the money, but for me, I'm, I'm so competitive that uh, it's just about getting revenge and uh, and, and writing wrongs. Uh, and so I think he's got a, you know, he's got a beef 
<laughs> um, and I think he's going to be exciting this year. He came out in his second regular season fight with a, a flying <laughs> sidekick. <laughs> yeah. Intended to be a sidekick. Right. Ended up hitting him with his cup. But... Right. <laughs> <laughs> Holy cow! Are you kidding me? Industry-wide, I think 155 has more talent than any other division, which has made these decisions more difficult because we've just got so many more fighters to choose from. But some of the new guys we're bringing in are fighters like Nate Andrews, a reigning CES champion. The guy is 15 and 1, 15 finishes. Uh, he had defended that title numerous times, and I think we're lucky that another large promotion didn't pick him up. Whoa, big shots by Sean O'Connell. I'm moving on. This is the last time you'll see me competing, but I'm never going to leave this sport. Looking at the light heavyweight division, um, that's one division that we have lost the champion because, you know, the champion made a million dollars and now, you know, he's eating steak and, you know, getting, you know, big and just relaxing, putting his feet up and, and now he wants to commentate. <laughs> I am Sean O'Connell. How about that casual humble brag from Randy Couture? Oh yeah, you guys watch the fireworks. I did it from the White House. Ray, this is going to be huge for round two. The contract is final and he's in. He's done negotiating with the other organizations and he's landed with PFL. Jordan Johnson, right? I'm Jordan Big Swingin' Johnson, and I'm excited to announce that I'm part of the PFL family, where fighters are treated right, compensated appropriately, and there's no politics involved. You better bet I'm coming hard for that million dollars. So yeah, Jordan was a former D1 wrestler for the University of Iowa. I think they're number three in the nation right now. It's a top program. He's still undefeated in MMA. Came up through LFA, undefeated through there, went through UFC, undefeated there. Even on his final UFC fight, he went over to Russia. He was the only non-Russian to win on that card. So for him to have his choice of any organization in the world and to land with us, I think is incredible. Oh. Oh, it's that's it, it is all over. You, this guy is so powerful, wow. Bazagit was a guy that, I'd seen Bazagit fight in Pride back in the day. And I knew he's a guy that always brings it too. In his first fight, um, he didn't do too good. And I was like, you know, maybe he's done. But in the second fight, when he fought Sean O'Connell, yep. man, he was a beast. So I'm excited about him coming back as well. Heavy hands coming down from Lance Palmer. Let's look at the uh, featherweight division. Lance Palmer, who's been in the game for a little, little while now. And did a, you know, obviously a tremendous job going to the finals and becoming champion. The interesting fight for me last year was not Steven Seiler and Palmer, it was actually Andre Harrison and Palmer. From Freeport, New York, Andre the Bull Harrison! Andre Harrison has never lost, he has never been stopped, and right now he is in a bad, bad place in New Orleans. Now that fight to me, I think it's going to be an interesting one where uh, Andre, I'm sure, you know, he came that close to going to the championship um, and, and lost. The party, Lance Palmer! Alex Kilpin is um, another guy that... D1 uh, wrestler. Yeah. Yeah, University of Wisconsin, D1 wrestler. Right, and he's 12 and 1. Again, another guy that we were surprised that was uh, also available. Available, yep, yep. Won his last fight on um, Dana White's contender. Yep. Um, and fortunate for us, he was still available to be signed. Nice. Wow. in trouble. Ferreira looking for six points. He jumps into it. Up, jump down it, is, he got it. it is all over. Brother, I gotta tell you, this waterway division is, I think they're gonna kill it this year. Um, Ray Cooper, Michael Med, Michael Med, get him off. Ferreira, Boyan, Lewis Taylor going down to 270. Salabusi, I mean, it just, yeah, no, it's John gonna, Howard. Yeah, three. John Howard. I mean, this 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 year's watchway is stacked. 
we would have been stacked if we if we weren't adding well the middleweights. Right. And right. having three of the top middleweights come down just made the the weight division yep, so much just, more. Yeah, exactly. So they were going to look at the high. Oh, he's, 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 he's got him in trouble. He's in trouble. Simon Lee's got him in trouble. He's got him. That is it. It is Whoa. all over. One of the new welterweights we're bringing in is Dave Michaud. Dave Michaud had been brought to us by John Crouch from the MMA lab. He had lost a fight last year, which kind of put him on the back burner for us. He had a, a fight in his home state and he got starched early. But since then, he's uh, knocked off three victories, including a main event at LFA uh, against a game opponent. John Crouch, I mean, yeah. Uh, he yeah, trained yeah. Uh, Chuck, Chuck Liddell as well. And, uh, you Crouch, know, so. Crouch and MMA Lab have yeah. been a major gym in MMA for years. Right, and John right, exactly. has never reached out to me pushing any fighter before. So when he called, so he's high asking, on this guy. Yeah, yeah. asking to give David the, the consideration, I yeah. definitely listened. Yeah, for sure. Not going to be taken down. Here's Whoa, big power. And there it was as Ray Cooper the third says aloha and good night. Wow. But hey, you know, talking to uh, Ray Cooper, man, that guy says, hey boss, if I don't get the champion, give me the other Hawaiian guy, because there's only one Hawaiian guy in, this, in, in PFL. Hey, what's up, PFL fans? Uh, my name is Zane Kamaka, fighting out of Waianae, Hawaii. I made the cut for the 2019 season. I'll be fighting at welterweight, and I'm ready to rock, baby. Let's go. I had no idea they were cousins, so there's no love lost in that family. <laughs> They're like, like like a mile or so from each other. It's not even Oahu. They are close. The fact that all the guys come to fight anyway, and especially Ray, he you know he showed that last year, and the fact that he actually wants to be the only Hawaiian PFL fighter <laughs> makes it, it makes it exciting. <laughs> 